are a pro. No. I'm tired of hearing this. Anyway. Yep. Hello, anyway. everyone. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm Cal. I'm Ghost. I'm sure everyone's heard the news by now, but last weekend, Hell Divers were given a surprise major order. Not against the Terminates or Automatons, but against their corporate overlord, Sony. Oof. Uh, Sony had released a statement on Steam basically stating that if you're on PC and you want to play Helldivers, you need to check in with them first. Mandatory sign-ins for everybody. And if our services aren't in your country, then you ain't no oh. Helldiver no more. <laughs> that's not funny, man. It, Turn that helmet funny. into it's that good. cape off. Take it off. You can't play here it, no more. That's what they said. That's crazy. <laughs> they claim yeah. that... Uh, Due to technical issues during the launch of the game, they allowed uh, linking requirements for Steam to PSN to just be, you know, temporarily optional. Well, right. And Sony said, you know, that grace period has ended. Start linking it up. We need that data. Yeah, they um, did. And they said it was crucial to their safety and security, and it was a way of protecting players from griefing mm. and allowed, and, you know, all that other mm. good stuff. And it allowed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right don't worry it was gonna give players that were banned the right to appeal all that all that moderation stuff i know nothing about um i even saw that spitz the community manager has said that the reason they were doing that is so they wouldn't have to wait uh because it was on steam they wanted a direct line from uh whatever was being reported to go straight to them instead of you know having to go to Val first and then coming i guess the process was longer i'm only guessing okay. i don't know much about but it's basically sony just wanted like a direct line like say if you reported somebody i guess the process would be quicker if you were to go to them first uh -huh. but I mean, yeah okay. uh the player base did not take this well because no they didn't at all <laughs> there was a complete upheaval is, is what happened here let's just call that what it is uh they said it well mostly some people were you know obviously people are going to complain because it's just one extra thing you have to do to get to play into the game it's just one extra gate you have to go through and i right. think x was saying like it's just one more level of failure you got to go to before you actually get on the game um god forbid if you're having trouble crashing you go through all this sign in okay you get through that get the game on yeah. crash um yeah i mean uh, you know I, I don't i don't play a lot of pc uh games you're about so to. that doesn't and it, it and it sounds it sounds bad and i'm sure i'm gonna get flamed but like it doesn't really affect me because i'm a console player but putting myself in those shoes to the people that that do play on pc and have to go through that extra stuff or to have it taken away that does suck like that's something you have to be able to sympathize with just as a gamer just in general you know you know you get on you know have a bad day at work or school <laughs> or whatever you're doing to come yeah, home yeah. and then for them to be like hey i know you took that 40 dollars invested it into the game and we provided that product but like you can't do this no more so that that really does I mean that sucks a fat one mm -hmm. like i don't even know how to even go about it so i sympathize with those guys and i think you and i think it was you and i we were talking about it the other day there was somebody um in one of the countries that it's now banned or they can't get onto it yeah, they're losing the a level 90 problem. character yes. that's crazy yeah he tried I mean, to, not for uh, nothing but that's wild he tried to use a vpn to try you know go around it but that that just instantly breaks sony's terms of service and he was instantly banned that character is gone forever yeah that's <laughs> yeah. that's that's unfortunate man i feel for him that sucks because even being level what 52 50. 53 um how many hours i've put into the game and he's a lips that yeah. like he's almost doubled me so i can only imagine i mean you're i mean last time i mean we we're close to 60 or 60 now level and just how long you you know how long you've played and it's just for someone just to say hey you know you can take this you know fat f and just be out like that that's crazy man and then to think how you bounce back like they obviously had huge success and you know they're going to try and capitalize on it so there's another game that they're going to try to develop and you hurt that player base 
like you hurt them a lot yes because now there's no trust there at that point exactly so. and even you know even if they were you know try right now i'm pretty sure like that anxiety hasn't faded from the community base because at this point you know what else are they going to plan because you know they're going to try and figure out some other way to get right to get those numbers uh for those investors because let's be honest that's the main way the that's the main, yeah the ba main reason they want that data in the first place um yeah but i just don't understand how you could see the success of this game globally and then all of a sudden go through with this uh with this decision and not realize how impactful that would be uh to the community as a whole i just don't understand how you even got to that position I but know. i it, gotta <laughs> it took a shit on it for sure the player base rallied together you spent like how long the game's been out six months training these men and women to go after one objective and you didn't think they were going to apply that uh skill set to the real world uh do you know how it, the negative reviews reached over two hundred thousand on steam well they pushed the games they, <laughs> well they have other problems too aside i mean the major problem you know not to turn a blind eye to it the major problem is the authentication part of it right like that's the big thing yes but they were they've been in a downward I don't want really to call it a spiral or, or, you know, a tick or whatever you want to call it. But I know you and I talked about this last night kind of playing, but you're nerfing a lot of stuff into the ground and it, it sucks. Like you're taking a lot of weaponry that's should be fun to play. Like the Eruptor, right? Not a gun I run, but it's a very effective weapon. Well, the people that do run it, you've nerfed that into the ground. You nerf the rail gun into the ground. Now, I know someone's going to be going to bring it up. Well, yeah, you can run it on unsafe mode, but I don't want to run it on unsafe mode. Everything. You didn't have to do that. Yeah. It, just be viable. Like, it's just, you're taking so much out. If you find, the community finds something that's fun, that's a way to combat something where we're underpowered anyways, and you go, no, you can't have that toy. And then you take it away. I feel like so, anything you pick up off the ground should be viable. Like but anything it's not. It is not. Like, I feel like anything I put my hands on, I'd be like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's that over there? Like I should just be having fun with whatever I put my hands on. But that's just not the case. But we don't yeah, we can talk about that all day, but <laughs> Yeah, that's just it's just tough. Like yeah. they, and so they you gotta got all do damage this, control for sure. Yeah, you got all this you know, this uh I I guess it is kind of negative, like uh like vibe around the game as far as like balancing and you know, like the war bonds and stuff and this is just the nail in the coffin right here with sony but uh yeah those two hundred thousand negative reviews basically pushed the game's overall score into mixed and all of their recent reviews were overwhelmingly negative and i gotta give yep. it to the ceo uh, i don't think i've ever liked a ceo in any form or fashion but i gotta give it to this man because he was just eating shit all all 48 hours on twitter doing his best to like communicate with the community um as best as he could um, right while also but he's been real communicative even from the start yes, like he's you know like he was there through the through the through the good times of it but you got to be there through the bad too because if he would have hid from it oh boy that would not have been a good thing <laughs> or either. just not said anything at all um but yeah he did a lot better he did way better than their community managers in the uh in the discord because uh at first the community manager spitz was you know trying to push the anger away from arrowhead a little bit by saying that you know this is sony's decision we really don't have any say in what's going on um and he was in the discord also telling people like hey just make your voices heard on steam um because there's nothing that they can do so just use your rights as a consumer to make your voices heard um right but okay that's i i i understand that but at the same time spitz let the community get under his skin a little bit um and he did, he didn't really respond as well as he should have to the uh criticisms um Plus, from Sony's perspective, if you're telling consumers, like, tr like hinting that they need to go on Steam and like review bond something, if they even think you're hinting at something like that, they're not gonna like that at all. Uh, 
but he actually has been fired from his community manager role. Uh, but there is a petition on change.org <laughs> if you want to <laughs> sign it uh, because they, they think Spitz deserves his uh, role back. But he, he said he's agree he agrees with what they did. He he just got, you know, ticked off. And I can understand why the community is ravenous. They went f for a good reason. I don't think he deserves so that much hate. But at the same time, you got to yeah. you got to watch what you say. You guys yeah, are not. All, go ahead. I, I'm not, not even to defend him, though, but just like the workplace in general. Like. So my line of work, right, it's very it's very independent. So like I'm not, I'm only talking to a few people a day that, that I'm really kind of communicating to. I understand where if I had hundreds of thousands of people coming at me for something, I get it. Eventually that's gonna rub you raw a little yeah, exactly. bit. And I and I get it. To sympathize a little bit to to constantly be up your ass about something that you possibly don't have any control over, or maybe you do. Who really knows behind the scenes, right? Right. But to pop off a little bit. And for you to say, okay, well, now you lose your, your position over that. I understand politically, sure. But if you were to put themselves in your in their shoes, and I know a lot of people are going to say, well, I wouldn't have done it. Well, a lot of people would have. Yes, and, exactly. you know, let's let's take the, the, you know, the cotton candy out of this. If you have enough people rubbing you the wrong way, eventually you're going to snap back. Now, it may not be the proper thing to do in business etiquette, but I don't fault him for being a little snappy. Because it is what it is. If someone says a lot of crazy shit to you on the street, eventually you're probably just going to be like, hey, you know what? Bet. I, I can't do it no more. I'm, I'm going to put it out there. <laughs> exactly. And it's fine. I mean, if they give it, you know, if they give him his job back, like I'm cool with that. You know, I'm glad that he owned up to it because he did do it. He didn't stray away from it. But to lose to lose the job over over it when didn't it come out that Sony kind of like big daddy didn't was like, we're going to do this regardless. So <laughs> you know, it, it kind of is what it is, man. Yeah. It's all damage control over there right now. You know, yeah, they're absolutely. looking at each other side eyed. I don't feel like he should have left his job. I feel like he lost his job more because of what he was hinting at with the consumers. Like, leave. I don't think he got he lost his job because of how he was talking to the community. If it was just, you know, the way he was talking to the community, just I just uh, train them more, do better training as far as like. Or a correspondence with other people. Um, I don't know. Lock them up in a room with, with <laughs> uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let him hear certain things for a, a, a period of time. Uh, but yeah. Or, or when you know something's coming down the pipe a little bit, and you know it's probably going to cause some discourse. You know, have that. I guess what would be called like a crisis meeting of like, li listen, this is how we're going to handle this going forward. Exactly. So we're all on the same page because, oh boy. Just prep, yeah, yeah, just uh, prep them before that, beforehand. Uh, but yeah, well, I thought that Sony was just going to big dick it and say, and just say nothing <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh no. Like, I don't you care know how much you don't review tease bomb, them, right? I, like, I've really thought they were going to be like, I don't care how much you review bomb this game. This is what is happening. And you're going to this is this is what we're going to do moving forward. But yeah, unexpectedly, Sony released a statement on Twitter basically saying that they heard the feedback from the community and they won't be moving forward with this requirement, uh, which is a massive success for the community. Um, also, people were encouraging others on the subreddit to make sure they change their reviews back on Steam. And as of right now, at the time of this recording, they're sitting at mostly positive. So good job, Helldivers. You did it. I'm just waiting for that second major order coming down. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, the CEO also tweeted how impressed he is with the community and their ability to co collaborate. I don't know why he's impressed. You trained them. Um, he goes on to say that they want to set a standard for what a live service game is and how developers and community can support each other to create the best game experiences. But like I said, massive win for the community. Hopefully Arrowhead and Sony can come up with the with a better solution for everybody. I don't know. Uh, behind the scenes. That's got, crazy. Hopefully they figure it out though. Yep. Yeah. You got any last thoughts? No, that was pretty much it, man. I hope they hope they figure it out sooner than later. Right. 
Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss an episode. Uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Be safe out there. Bye. Take it easy. Bye.